We are going to have a look at the MyFont library, which comes included with the Octomono app. The MyFont library will allow you to compose a font library with fonts from the Google library, which currently holds over more than 900 families. The fonts from within the created MyFont library can be used throughout elements within the Octomono app. To access the MyFont library, we will drop an Octomono element on the page. Clicking on the dashboard button will take us to our personal Octomono dashboard. Inside the left sidebar at the top is the My Library icon. Clicking on the icon will open our library. In this list, you can see the fonts that are being used throughout the Octomono elements on your side. In here, you can manage the list by removing a font or including new ones. Please know that whenever you remove a font, this is happening globally on your site and none of the Octomono elements used on your site will be able to make use of this removed font. We will add some new fonts to our list and click on the Add More Fonts button. In this panel, you can see the entire Google Font Library loaded. Inside the left sidebar, you can narrow down your searches by either typing out the name of the font family you're looking for or by selecting the font category you would like to browse in. We will search for a popular sans serif font called Poppins. Inside the search field, we will type Poppins. You can see that now only one family is showing up. This specific family contains 18 different styles. Let's open the drop down and scroll down till the light style. To view a preview of any style from any font family, simply click on the eye icon located at the right of each font style. The font of the preview text located at the bottom in the left sidebar has now changed to Poppins Light. If needed, you can add some custom text here and adjust the font size. Whenever we are happy with a previewed font, we need to check the checkbox. We will include another font to my font library. Let's type in Gentium in the search field. Gentium Basic is a nice looking serif font and we will include the normal style of this font. The My Font Library can be modified at any given time and fonts can be removed or added. For now we are done and we will click on the Save and Close button at the top right. You can now see that the list in the My Font Library has expanded. We will now look at two examples of elements that can make use of those fonts. The button element allows us to specify a font family for our button text. We will change it to Gentium Basic. See how the font of our button text automatically updates to the Gentium Basic font. Let's go back to the Select Elements panel. We will look at the SEO Titles element. Again here in the Settings bar, in the second setting will allow us to modify the font family of our title. This time we will set it to Poppins, increase the font size and modify the title text to Hello from Octomono. Whenever we click the Save button, we will be taken back to our Weebly editor and you can see the title with the Poppins font. If you would like to use a font family that is already being loaded by Weebly or you have uploaded to your website yourself, you can also use this font. The custom font, however, will not be included in the My Font library. Let's have a look at the title we just created. Inside the settings bar, you can see under the font family the option to toggle on Use Custom Font. Let's switch it on. On this specific site, Weebly is loading a Google font called WorkSans. We do not need to include this in our library. Like this we avoid the loading of duplicate files. We will type in the font family name in the input field and change it to WorkSans. Note how the font of our title is now WorkSans. Please make sure to include the correct name of a font you want to use and include spaces where needed. Whenever adding a custom font name, it is possible that the preview of this font won't reflect in the Octamono dashboard. But if the font name is added correctly, it will show up within your Weebly dashboard and on your live site. Let's click Save and go back to our Weebly dashboard. We will include another element to our page. Let's select the accordion element. You can see that for this element we can also specify a font family. Clicking on the drop down selection we can see the fonts from our previously created library. Let's select Gentium Basic. 
Inside Elements, it is also possible to access the My Phone library and manipulate it. You can either access it from the hidden sidebar or click on the My Phone library icon at the right top of the Phone family label.